What's up everybody, it's the Inhuman One here and today I'm going to reveal the dark secrets of the Kru Kru phenomenon in Sweet Home. In this video, I will attempt to answer if this strange occurrence is merely a viral infection or the result of a supernatural curse. Although the phrase Kru Kru is only mentioned a handful of times throughout the entire first season, its association with monsterization is undeniable. Let's examine the defining traits of a virus and see how Kru Kru compares. A virus is defined as a microscopic, metabolically inert, infectious agent that replicates within living cells. For the sake of not turning this video into a lesson on virology, we'll keep this at a high level. Viruses can be transmitted through a plethora of methods, but some of the most commonly known methods are direct contact and airborne transmission. In Sweet Home, the monsterization process, although viral in appearance, doesn't seem to be transmissible through direct contact, which includes bites and physical contact between an infected person and one that is susceptible. One prime example of this is when Song Wook was bitten on his right shoulder and never subsequently transformed. Other examples that allow us to rule out direct transmission are the numerous times that blood of the so-called infected contacts the survivors in critical areas, such as the eyes and mouth that would almost guarantee infection. However, none of these instances result in monsterization. If Kru Kru is indeed a virus, its method of transmissions seem incredibly inconsistent. However, I would be remiss to completely rule out the possibility that the survivors have already been infected through airborne means and the key to monsterization is perhaps triggered by unconventional methods. But before we dive into that, let's examine what a curse is and see how Kru Kru measures up. A curse is defined as an utterance or wish intended to invoke a supernatural power that can inflict harm or punishment on someone. Interestingly enough, there are no two infected individuals that exhibit the same symptoms. In fact, each monster that we see is incredibly unique in design and function. The only similarities they share are increased aggression, psychosis, inability to revert back to human form, and superhuman regenerative abilities. Interestingly enough, it seems that the monsterization process brings out traits specific to each infectee and effectively manifests these into horrific physical form. It's almost as if the Kru Kru phenomenon is custom tailored to bring out the unrestricted version of each infectee's most primal desires. A scene featuring Hyun Su in his monster form includes some very interesting dialogue, lending credence to the possibility that each person can effectively undergo the monsterization process if they reveal their desire. As such, the triggering mechanism is unlike any other featured in a naturally occurring virus. It is my belief that Kru Kru is actually a curse that shares similarities with a virus. It's most likely that the population was exposed to some sort of supernatural agent that was triggered by an emotional response. This is the reason why the government has sought out information and knowledge regarding the special infectees, as they are the only individuals capable of harnessing their abilities and also retaining nearly all of their humanity. Based on journal entries from Yi Kyung's fiancé, it seems that factors such as mental resilience can actually abate the monsterization process and result in a mutation of sorts. It seems that the key is resisting the voices for 15 days, so that a period of stability can be reached. At this time, the individual becomes a special infectee and is essentially in a constant battle of wits and control against the monster inside. The fact that Yi Kyung's fiancé states that the Kru Kru phenomenon is not a disease is incredibly telling, as he seemingly had access to hospital records and had been researching this occurrence secretly for some time. The world of Sweet Home flirts with the supernatural and virology in a way that will continually have us questioning what Kru Kru really is, but in the end, what does it really mean to be a monster? What would it take to push you to the edge of your sanity and test the very limits of your humanity? Well. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. <laughs> and until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out.